Alright, so this new feature includes saving MIDI settings. So right now if I press on the MIDI button, which is unlabeled because it's prototype, right? I can see my MIDI channel and if I roll the encoder, you can see all of the uh, parameters that's on the synth. And they all have a default CC that's assigned to them. But if you have an SD card plugged into the synth and uh, it doesn't see a MIDI.dat file, then it creates one for you with default settings. And if there is no SD card, then it just uses the default settings. You can still change them, but it won't save anything. So if you want to say, um, change a setting, you press down on the encoder. A cursor shows up underneath uh, the number and you turn it to the desired setting. So let's do MIDI channel 10. And for this multi-sample wave, let's change this to something. doesn't really matter what it is because this is just a demo. Alright, and this is the back button. If I hit back, it goes back to the main menu. But if I go to the MIDI settings and I want to save my settings, I press the right button. This right button also saves your current patch if you wanted to do that, but inside of the MIDI menu, it saves your MIDI settings. And it does a check for the SD card, which can save you. So I'll plug my SD card in, and then press the button, and there we go. And it really is saved. The nice thing about this uh, especially for the MIDI channels, that you, see, you get this back when you turn it off and back on, and here's proof. I'll unplug the USB cable, plug it back in. Right now it's running off USB. Go back to the MIDI menu, and there it is. So as long as you have an SD card in this synth, it will remember all your MIDI settings, and not just your MIDI channel, but all of the programmable CCs too. So anything that this synth can do, uh, as far as MIDI controllers are concerned, is completely dynamic now, and saveable too. So yeah, pretty good progress that I would share. Thanks guys.